The Su-57 was initially developed as a response to the US F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II under the PAC-FA program. Its primary objective was to integrate stealth, supermaneuverability, and multi-role combat capabilities. Nevertheless, the AL-41 F-1 engine, which was essentially a reworked derivative of older designs, was a constraint on early models, despite their lofty ambitions. The operational deployment of the system was further restricted by technical obstacles and ongoing production delays. In the mid-2020s, Russian defense strategists acknowledged that incremental solutions would no longer suffice. In an effort to maintain their international competitiveness and provide a credible fifth-generation platform, they began a comprehensive modernization initiative that culminated in the Su-57M1. The designation M1 represents a fundamental transformation in propulsion, stealth, armaments, and avionics, surpassing mere updates. Located at the heart of the Su-57M1's redesign is the AL-51F1 turbofan, also referred to as the Isdilia 30, which represents a significant improvement over the AL 41 F1. The new engine is capable of supercruise, which is sustained supersonic flight without the use of afterburners due to its increased thrust. Additionally, it is more fuel efficient, less complex mechanically, and lighter, which increases both range and loiter endurance. It is crucial to note that its reduced infrared signature improves its ability to withstand contemporary heat-seeking missiles. The planar two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzle is one of the most revolutionary features. The aircraft's outstanding maneuverability in dogfights is maintained and thermal visibility is reduced, thereby enhancing concealment against infrared sensors. This is achieved by replacing the traditional round design. The stealth benefits are considered a worthwhile exchange underscoring Russia's determination to prioritize survivability in a high-tech battle space, despite the fact that engineers confess to a modest thrust penalty of approximately 6 to 8 percent due to the nozzle shape. The new propulsion system is complemented by a comprehensive enhancement in stealth. The M1 variant is distinguished by a refined airframe that incorporates tighter panel tolerances to mitigate radar cross-section. Internal weapon compartments are designed to reduce the amount of external reflections that could potentially reveal its signature, while new radar-absorbent materials and coatings are used. Aerodynamic modifications are designed to achieve a balance between agility and high-speed stability. Additionally, experts have observed the integration of additive manufacturing into the aircraft's production process, which enables the production of meticulous stealth-optimized components with greater efficiency. The use of 3D-printed components not only facilitates weight reduction, but also expedites design iteration and reduces production costs, thereby providing Russia with increased adaptability in the refinement of covert capabilities. The Su-57M1 is the first aircraft to feature a cutting-edge avionics system that prioritizes the incorporation of onboard artificial intelligence with the pilot. An advanced helmet-mounted display that integrates real-time targeting and augmented situational awareness is the foundation of the system. Its sensor fusion system significantly reduced the burden of pilots by combining radar, infrared, and electronic warfare data into a single, streamlined image. Updated electronic warfare capabilities offer interference and countermeasures against hostile radars and missiles, while AI-driven decision support aids in prioritizing threats in intricate engagements. The fighter is transformed into a command node for networked operations as a result of these innovations, which transcend the confines of a traditional weapons platform. This approach is reminiscent of the early sixth-generation design philosophies that combine manned assets with unmanned wingmen. The M1's planned integration of the R-97 hypersonic air-to-air -air missile, a weapon that is meant to significantly broaden the kill zone, is one of its most noteworthy features. The missile has the capability to target high-value airborne assets, such as AWACS and tanker aircraft, that amplify hostile air power with a range of up to 450 kilometers 
and a speed that approaches Mach 8 to 9. The Su-57 M1 offers a diverse weaponry when combined with precision-guided strike munitions, R-74 M2 short-range interceptors, and updated R-77 beyond visual-range missiles. Weapons remain in internal compartments to maintain stealth, while external pylons provide greater flexibility for missions in which caution is less important. This arsenal positions the M1 as an offensive powerhouse that is capable of both long-range disruption of adversary networks and air dominance. The design's potential and the remaining challenges were both underscored by the initial flight tests. The test pilots reported exceptional agility, consistent supercruise performance, and stealth qualities that were encouraging. Nevertheless, challenges arose regarding the integration of avionics software, the thermal management of the new thrust vectoring nozzle, and the refinement requirements of composite materials. Russia has been making substantial investments in the expansion of its production capacity at Komsomolsk on Amur. However, the broader geopolitical landscape presents obstacles. Russian industry has been compelled to develop substitutes for sophisticated electronics and composite materials as a result of Western sanctions and supply chain disruptions. This has slowed down progress, but has also encouraged domestic innovation. Russian officials have pledged to start serial production of the Su-57 M1 by the end of 2026, with operational deliveries to follow shortly thereafter, despite the presence of these challenges. Russia intends for the Su-57 M1 to serve as a prominent export product in addition to its domestic capabilities. It is widely believed that Algeria will be the first customer with deliveries anticipated in the late 2020s. India, which was previously a participant in the joint FGFA program before its withdrawal, is also identified as a potential customer, in addition to states in the Middle East and Southeast Asia. Western aircraft, such as the F-35, offer network integration benefits, but they also incur higher costs and political constraints. Consequently, affordability is an important selling factor. The Su-57 M1 is an appealing alternative for nations that are interested in acquiring sophisticated capabilities without being constrained by Western constraints. The Su-57 M1 serves as a strategic indicator of Russia's commitment to the advancement of fighter aircraft. It provides the Russian Aerospace Forces with a more credible fifth-generation fighter than the initial Su-57 batches domestically, thereby reducing the capability gap with Western and Chinese rivals. Russia's pursuit of unique solutions rather than direct imitation is symbolized by technological features such as the flat nozzle, AI-assisted avionics, and hypersonic missile armament. Internationally, the aircraft functions as a weapon of leverage in defense relations, establishing Russia as an armament supplier to nations that are not included in Western fighter programs. The M1's implementation of sixth-generation concepts, including human-machine teaming, advanced stealth, and extended weapon ranges, is crucial in that it positions Russia on a path to defining the future of aerial combat. The Su-57 M1 exhibits a combination of strengths and weaknesses when compared on a global scale. It is inferior to the US F-22 in terms of stealth design maturation. However, it may provide advantages in close quarters maneuverability and missile range. In comparison to the F-35, the Su-57 M1 is not yet capable of matching the Western fighter's level of network integration. However, it is arguably more capable in terms of sheer maneuverability and agility. The J-20 of China, which emphasizes long-range intercepts and stealth, differs from Russia's approach to the balance of weapons versatility, extreme maneuverability, and stealth. The Su-57 M1 is more than just a modernization project. It is a declaration of Russia's commitment to maintaining its position as a leading factor in aerial warfare technology. With its AL-51 F1 engine and thrust vectoring flat nozzle, its AI-enhanced avionics suite, and its game-changing hypersonic missile armament, it indicates a confident transition into both fifth and emergent sixth-generation competition.
The aircraft's prospective impact on domestic air power and international markets is undeniable, despite the formidable production hurdles and global sanctions. The Su-57M1 is a representation of Russia's technological resilience, strategic ambition, and endeavor to establish the future boundaries of air combat. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us 